Let me start with something stupidly easy. In your head, right now, 12 times 3. You got 36 without even thinking about it. All right, tiny upgrade. 12 times 3.5. Still manageable. A bit slower, but you can get to 42. Now try this. No calculator, no notes. 17.3 times 4.8. Most brains stall right there. You feel that little spike of stress, the urge to quit or reach for your phone. Here is the crazy part. This same species that chokes on messy decimal multiplication built rockets, engines, computers, AI, and landed on the moon. So in today's video, we are tearing apart one question. Why do humans hate math so much? Are we the real problem? Our brains or something else? Here is the first twist. Your brain is wired for numbers. There is a region in your parietal lobe called the intraparietal sulcus that lights up whenever you see or hear numbers or do basic calculations. Humans and many animals share an approximate number sense. We can tell more versus less without counting and instantly recognize small quantities like one, two, three. The problem starts when we push beyond what evolution cared about. Your ancestors never had to solve calculus to avoid a lion. They just needed few, many, bigger group. Past about four or five items, your brain stops seeing exact numbers and starts estimating. Anything more precise has to be built with symbols, language and schooling. Now add stress. When math-anxious kids go into a test, brain scans show the amygdala, the fear center, turning on. At the same time, the parts of the brain you need for working memory and problem solving get weaker. So you cannot think straight. It is not just being bad at math. It is fear hijacking the hardware. Most people do not start out hating numbers. They learn it. The pipeline goes like this. You are confused in class. You get a low score. You feel stupid. You start saying, I am not a math person. Then you avoid math. You fall behind. Every new topic feels harder. That loop is math anxiety. Teachers and parents pour fuel on this without meaning to. A lot of adults openly say, I was always bad at math. Kids hear that and absorb it as destiny. Studies even show that when math-anxious parents help with homework, their kids end the year with worse math scores and more anxiety, because the stress leaks into the room. School finishes the job. In many systems, math is taught as memorizing steps and formulas you never use again. No one explains why the method works. You just follow the algorithm, get marked in red, and repeat. Add time tests, public humiliation at the board, and high-stakes exams that decide your future. Of course, your brain links numbers with panic. Here is the key idea. Most people do not hate math. They hate feeling confused, judged, and trapped with no way to ask why. Now zoom out. In a lot of cultures saying, I am terrible at math, is almost a joke or a personality trait. Try saying, I am terrible at reading in the same casual way. People would worry. For decades, media has drawn the same stereotype. The math genius is a weird, mostly male, socially awkward loner who scribbles on chalkboards. If you do not look or act like that, you quietly decide math is not for people like me. Language makes things worse or better. In English, Number words are messy. 11, 12, 13. Nothing about 11 tells you it is 10 plus 1. In languages like Chinese or Japanese, 11 is 10 1, 12 is 10 2, 21 is 2 10 1. The words encode the logic, so brains fight less with the basic structure. Then come stereotypes. For a long time, many people believed boys are naturally better at math than girls. In some countries, girls perform just as well as boys in math, but still pick fewer math-heavy careers because they have been told the field is not for them. 
If you walk into a class where no one looks like you, it quietly tells you you do not belong. Now we are in a weird moment. Calculators, spreadsheets and AI can do most routine math faster and more accurately than we can. That should make life easier. And it does. When used well, calculators free students from mindless arithmetic so they can focus on ideas and problems. But tech can also deepen the gap. If you never build basic number sense because you outsource everything to your phone, every formula looks like black magic. Apps that solve equations from a photo are great for checking your work. Used badly, they become a way to skip the struggle, which also means skipping the growth. AI adds another twist. Large language models can solve many textbook-style problems, yet still make dumb arithmetic mistakes because they do not truly understand numbers. That means your job in the future is not to out-calculate a machine. It is to know enough math to tell when the machine is wrong and to ask better questions. So where does that leave us? Humans do not hate math as an object. We hate how math has been served to us. Brains that evolved for rough quantities get thrown into dense symbols under stress. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you want more deep dives like this.